Just when you'd think that most of history has been covered, the drying of rivers throughout the world reveals some of the most preserved remains of dinosaurs, ancient civilizations, and cities we never knew existed. Join us today to witness some of the most terrifying pieces of history that dried rivers are finally unveiling. Mastodon Bones In 1974, construction workers on the banks of Moresh River, Ayud, Romania, discovered a set of mastodon or mammoth bones. The bones were well-kept tusks that were embedded in the sandy bottom. Although a set date hasn't been revealed, scientists believe the bones go as far back as 11,000 years, or perhaps even earlier, as that is when the humongous mammoths went extinct. Another set was found a few kilometers ahead in Racochul de Sus, but came with an intact skull and skeletal remains. It seems like mastodons were also a big fan of traveling, because a similar set of bones was found in the Floridian Oscilla River, dating back a staggering 14,000 years. Explorers also found a stone knife, suggesting this particular mastodon was hunted by man. The Lost Castle Catastrophic drought in the Euphrates River has caused water levels to drop, revealing many shocking truths from the past, and one of them is this long-lost castle. Known as Hastek Castle, this mysterious palace was carved into the mountain along the mighty Euphrates River, and hides many historical secrets, with several rooms carved into the bedrock connected by long, narrow galleries. The castle also has some loop heads to allow sunlight and to keep an eye on enemies. The castle was submerged as the dam started to hold water, and now this elusive structure can only be reached by boat. The Dragon Man A 140,000-year-old perfectly preserved skull has been discovered in northeastern China, which represents a new species of ancient people. The researchers have named the species Homo longi, or Dragon Man, for the region it was found, the Dragon River. The skull belonged to a large-brained male in his late 50s, with deep-set eyes and thick brow ridges. Though his face was wide, it had flat, low cheekbones that made him resemble modern people more closely than other extinct members of the human family tree. Scientists believe that this discovery could fundamentally alter our understanding of human evolution. Massive Thigh Bone Paleontologists in France have marked a remarkable history after unearthing some remains from the late Jurassic period. Measuring several feet in length and height, a giant thigh bone has been discovered at the Anjac Charente site. The huge femur found is believed to belong to a dinosaur that roamed our Earth almost 140 million years ago. Known as sauropods, these dinos with long necks and tails are believed to be the largest land animals ever known. Although various other larger and smaller bones have also been uncovered, this one is thought to be the major discovery from the Jurassic period. Life in Mud Cocoon we know of dried rivers as an end to all the life forms living in it, but these villagers are up to something. Digging in the parched water body, one of them has found a mud cocoon, and out of it came a living, breathing fish. The source of sustenance for these villagers in drought-hit lands of Ghana, Africa. Due to their unique biology, some species of fish like lungfish, catfish, or mudfish can survive on dry land. Catching these fish is called mud fishing. Pretty simple, right? But finding one in the dried ground requires skills, experience, and expertise on part of the fishers. Otherwise, they'll just keep digging up dirt. I mean, after all, who can tell where the mud cocoon hiding the fish is? 3,000-year-old mummy. Unlike most mummies, this was a sacrificial case. This 3,000-year-old mummy was uncovered after students from the National University of San Marcos, along with the guidance of researchers, found strands of hair and skull during excavation near Lima, the capital of Peru. After further digging at an archaeological site of Huaca, La Florida, the rest of the mummy was unveiled. The carbon dating of the remains revealed it to be between 1500 to 1000 BCE, a period of the Manche culture. Judging from objects like corn, seeds, cocoa, and bottlenecks, 
Peruvian archaeologists believe that this mummy may have been a part of an offering. Rare Dinosaur Skin Fossil when it comes to dinosaur fossils, the most that you usually can find are pieces of bones or parts of the skeleton. Until now. During an excavation, a team of sophisticated archaeologists and paleontologists made a very rare discovery of dinosaur skin fossils in Alberta's Badlands in September 2022. The fossil was composed of a bone along with the skin on the outside embedded deep in the rocks for millions of years. With the skin so well preserved that its texture was completely intact, experts are excited about how much it will help them better understand and study these ancient, giant, extinct animal species. The fossil is now safely stored at the Royal Tyrell Museum of Paleontology. Mammoth Tusk and Skull Where the drying up water bodies are bringing many hidden structures to the surface, Somewhere in Siberia, the melting ice is also contributing to major discoveries. Buried with time, covered under mud, this time an explorer was able to find a huge mammoth tusk that was more than three meters long. Apart from this tusk, a huge skull was also found near the silt edge. Both these remains were believed to belong to an Ice Age elephant that went extinct some five million years ago. Bison fossil. Either a complete structure or simply the bones. If you found a fossil, you've made a remarkable discovery. While walking along the Paleo Bell River somewhere in North America, a guy stumbled upon something he was not expecting to find. Lying under the water surface, what appeared as an unknown structure later turned out to be some prehistoric remains. After pulling it out from its giant horn, it was identified as a massive bison skull that had been buried under the riverbed from an unknown period of time. Estimated to be more than two feet long, this was thought to be the most complete bison skull ever found. Mummy with skin and hair. This is probably one of the only mummies where mummification may have yielded results far more than ever in terms of preservation. In April 2023, Peruvian archaeologists were called in to investigate the sighting of a mummy when construction workers accidentally found it in Peru. The mummy, upon close examination, was revealed to be over a thousand years old, with some semblance of hair and skin still intact. The discovery is said to help better understand the mummification process, and also to reconstruct what the mummy may have looked like. Yomira Waman, who was the archaeologist in charge, reported that this mummy tomb was actually a storeroom, where the body was simply abandoned. Giant Rhino Horn Not only ancient burial sites or archaeological areas, drying up water bodies are also introducing some significant characters from the past by displaying their remnants. Apart from mammoth tusks and skulls, Rhino remains are considered to be the major findings. Measuring several feet in length, this prehistoric rhinoceros horn was discovered somewhere near a drying up river in a remote region of Russia. These millions of year old remains are considered to be precious evidence that sometimes are illegally discarded by ivory hunters, but mostly paleontologists have to bury them to preserve natural history. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Skeleton Lake of India Filled with hundreds and thousands of skeletal bones, there is a mysterious lake in India that has baffled the researchers. Known as Rupkund Lake, this snowy region is home to the remains of skeletal bones that are believed to come from three distinct genetic groups spread across a millennium. This petrifying lake was first discovered in 1942, some 16,000 feet above the Himalayan mountains, and since then, it has become a matter of discussion for the whole scientific community, as no one knows who these people were, or how they ended up here. Although various theories have been associated with these unknown skeletons, researchers are still not sure about the actual tragedy. 3,400-year-old city even after hundreds of thousands of centuries, the ancient architectural structures are still providing a site into past life. Discovered on the edge of a water reservoir in Iraq, 
This city is believed to be more than 3,400 years old that emerged after a swift drop in water level due to extreme drought. Consisting of tightly packed buildings connected by roads, this ancient city was once the major hub of Mitanni Empire, an era when most of the structures were made of sun-dried mud bricks. According to archaeologists, this city was destroyed by a major earthquake, but the houses and workshops could still be seen. Jesus' Midwife's Tomb Israeli archaeologists made a one-of-a-kind discovery of Jesus' midwife's tomb while excavating a site in the hills southwest of Jerusalem. The tomb is believed to be from the first century AD and was associated later on by local Christians with Salome and a chapel was built, making it a place of paying respects and pilgrimage for millennia, where followers would use these oil lamps while entering the cave to pray before returning them while exiting. Gold Coins Discovered With droughts drying up rivers around the world, discoveries like these were only a matter of time. During an archaeological excavation carried out by the Israel Antiquities Authority at the site of Peneus within the Hermon River, a cache of 44 Byzantine gold coins was unearthed in October 2022. Dr. Gabriela Biovsky, who was an expert, stated that these coins were minted by Emperor Heraclius, alive from 610 to 641 CE, and were found within the base of an ashlar stone. Due to a war of conquest at the time, the owner was concealing his fortune, presumably to retrieve it in the distant future. A Secret River Nobody knew about this secret Israeli river until its videos went viral. Dubbed the Secret River, this water body flows out to the Dead Sea from a deep gorge. The Secret River didn't magically appear, so how is it possible that this river was never seen before? While the Secret River has always flowed close to the Israeli-Jordanian border, it is impossible to access. That is because the area surrounding the river is covered in landmines and dangerous marshes. But even without these dangers, the river is still a threat to life. It contains toxic chemicals from nearby factories, inhaling of which could be fatal. But you can always enjoy the looks from a copter or from pictures. Nazi ships. Hitler's regime was too horrifying to forget, and another sombering discovery reminds us yet again of the barbarity of the Second World War. The Danube River recently receded because of an impending drought, and was forced to push out dozens of Nazi warships that were sunk after the German troops retreated. The warships might be rusty, but they're still quite dangerous even today. That is because almost all of the Nazi warships contain dangerous artillery, including around 10,000 kilograms of explosive devices. The warships are a threat to the Danube River, not because of their potential to blow up, but the harmful chemicals and toxins that are seeping into the water. Unexploded World War II Bomb With the Second World War having destroyed most of Europe, there remains a lot of ordnance waiting to be found. In August 2022, a 450-kilogram bomb was discovered in Italy's longest river, the Po, after it dried up in the summer drought. The explosive ordnance disposal teams of the Italian army took custody of the bomb and disposed of it by carrying out a controlled explosion after clearing the blast radius. Experts believe that there are millions of hidden ordnance all over the continent that could be armed, waiting to be triggered. Dinosaur-like skeleton unearthed Could you imagine buying a new property and finding a jackpot in your backyard? Well, this is it. A multi-millionaire shared this thrilling video of a huge dinosaur-like animal skeleton which was discovered in his backyard while the area was being dug to install a swimming pool. The construction team first recovered a huge tooth, and after an hour of digging, they pulled out this entire skeleton from the ground. Archaeologists and paleontologists arrived in the area to investigate this massive discovery. I bet the previous owner regrets selling his home. Amazonian River Monster Leah Getz and her son were walking along the Caloosahatchee coast when her son pointed out a 6 to 8 meter long fish-like dead monster. The fish had a white, pale exterior with pink tones on its tail. Its mouth was agape 
and a fishing hook was stuck on its lips. It was unlike anything Getz had seen, and was later identified as an arapaima fish by netizens. The most shocking part of the discovery is its location. Arapaima are native to the Amazon River, so it didn't make sense for this beast to be in Florida. Some think it was an abandoned pet, while others believe it may have swam up here. Let us know what you think in the comments. Prehistoric Croc While excavating a never-explored area of southern Tunisia, a team of archaeologists was able to unearth a complete skeleton of a giant crocodile. This prehistoric crocodile is believed to have measured more than 30 feet long and weighed three tons. The skull alone is more than five feet long. This world's most enormous sea-dwelling crocodile lived more than 130 million years ago. Scientists called this newly discovered reptile Machimosaurus rex, which was previously unknown to science, but now can provide a complete look into the story of evolution. World's Oldest Heart An ancient fossil from one of our planet's earliest vertebrates was discovered concealing an exciting surprise. Inside a fossilized armored fish that swam in the waters between 419 million and 359 million years ago, paleontologists identified a mineralized heart that was exceptionally well-preserved in three dimensions. This S-shaped organ was made up of two chambers, with a smaller chamber sitting on top of the larger one. According to paleontologists, it could provide critical information about the evolution of the head and neck region, and how they changed to accommodate jaws. The new specimen suggests that there might be even more treasures waiting to be uncovered in the Australian outback. Ancient Writing Tablets It's amazing how advanced humans were, even centuries ago. And it's even crazier to think such secrets lie on the very bottoms of rivers. Such an amazing discovery was made when unearthing the Mitanni Empire, which we've just discussed, was done. While this empire bore several unique artifacts, the most interesting one were five ceramic vessels. Inside these were countless cuneiform tablets. Cuneiform was an ancient writing style that remains untranslated. The muddy tablets were surprisingly well-preserved. In fact, some of these timeless tablets could still be read, though I'm not entirely sure we can fully understand it. The City of Nimrud Hosting a large number of ancient relics and huge statues, the city of Nimrud was first excavated in 1840 by a British explorer. And since then, this site has grabbed the attention of archaeologists from all around the world. Apart from huge sculptures and winged bull gatekeeper statues, this site also contains the palace of King Assyria, whose walls are carved with mysterious messages. Constructed more than 3,300 years ago, this city has been targeted several times, but still has managed to survive, and is believed to be the major ancient heritage site. The Ghost Village As long as drought continues to choke the world, more and more mysteries would come to the surface. Emptying a dam on the edge of the Spanish-Portuguese border, a drought has helped a submerged village meet the world again after more than three decades. With its partially collapsed buildings, wooden debris, and rock walls, this region was once known as Aceredo Village, which was submerged when a hydropower dam flooded the valley to create the reservoir. And now, after the discovery of its gray, eerie ruins, this site has been dubbed the Ghost Village. Ancient Rock Carvings It's quite intimidating to think that there were once entire cities that no longer exist. Unearthing these cities is scary enough, but imagine finding ancient ruins with scriptures and carvings. Such was a discovery made in Mosul, Iraq, when a team of archaeologists discovered rock carvings while working to restore damages inflicted to the Mashki Gate in 2016. Showing soldiers bearing arrows and preparing for war, the carvings are a remnant of King Sennacherib's dynasty which means they date back around 2,700 years, an astonishing figure considering their well-preserved state. Roman-era bronze statues. These aren't just your typical statues, but highly valuable souvenirs from the past. 
In November of 2022, archaeologists uncovered dozens of incredibly well-preserved bronze-made statues that were found to be from the ancient Roman era. The discovery was made in the hills of San Casciano de Bagni, 100 miles north of Rome after three years of exploring the area. Usually, artifacts as such tend to fade out of existence easily, but since these bronze statues were immersed in thermal waters as part of a Roman ritual, it helped by preserving them to such a remarkable condition. Bridge of Nero When the European drought affected the River Tiber in Italy, it revealed a wondrous ancient bridge. Named the Bridge of Nero, or Pons Neronianus, it was either built by emperors Caligula or Nero, and is a literal step into history. While many Roman roadworks remain intact, this ancient stepping bridge is mostly crumbled. Perhaps its state owes to its old age, or that was underwater for so long. But experts say its poor location was bound to affect its lifespan because it's built on an unstable floodplain. But we can't say the bridge isn't a delight, because for archaeologists, it's an incredible discovery. World's Oldest Cacao Temple Cacao is probably the most underrated fruit, despite sourcing chocolate all over the world. But while we're well aware of chocolatey delights, when exactly did cacao first bear fruit? The answer lies in Monte Gran Cacao, an ancient cacao temple excavated by archaeologists in Peru. An aerial look reveals a mesmerizing spiral design of rocky walls and columns. The temple was built around 5,300 years ago to honor the gods. Historians estimate the ancient Mayan Chinchipe tribe would bury their most esteemed religious figure in the middle of the spiral. And that's around the time they first used cacao. The local residents still visit the ancient site to pray, and some perform ceremonies. I mean, why not? A chocolate temple? Count me in. Ancient Ball Game Scoreboard Seeing ancient artifacts such as these shows the level of creativity that was through the roof. Recently, a team of archaeologists with the help of historians were able to find an 1,100-year-old game scoreboard near the Chichen Itza archaeological site, located on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The circular artifact shows carving of two players of the game that are standing next to a ball, along with complete text written in hieroglyphics all around. Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology has taken custody of this 88-pound scoreboard stone, which they hope to interpret the hieroglyphics and find out who the victor was. Wedge of Ayud this was found with the Romanian mastodon bones, and is much more interesting. Despite being unearthed in the early 70s, the object is still baffling scientists, who aren't even close to finding out its purpose. The object, or the Wedge of Ayud, is rusty and wedge-shaped, but even scientific analysis can't identify it. This is because it's made of 89% aluminum, 6% copper, and 12 other elements, and is several thousands of years old which doesn't seem like a puzzle. But the problem is, aluminum wasn't discovered until 1829. This raises a lot of questions. If humans made this millennia ago, then why was aluminum not ever used again until the 1800s? And if they didn't make it, does that mean aliens visited us? Revolutionary War Soldiers Remains With millions of wars being fought since human inception, Finding remains such as these are no-brainer. Local historians, after finding a key lead about the war tactics from the Revolutionary War, called for an archaeological dig at the Bank Battlefield Park in New Jersey, which was a battlefield during the Revolutionary War. While they were expecting to find a cache of weapons and equipment, researchers reported to have found skeletal remains of at least 13 soldiers, which are believed to be from the German auxiliary troops that were dispatched to assist the British Army during the Revolutionary War. Shark Fossil Hunting A group of YouTubers were fossil hunting a creek in North Carolina when they made an amazing discovery. The group had traversed the ravine solely to find ancient relics, or signs of prehistoric life. But they didn't realize they'd actually find this. Wondering what that triangular oddity is? Well, it's a shark tooth 
and one belonging to an ancient great white. But besides that, they stumbled upon this. A human jaw with all the teeth gone. Right after that, they found a human skull as well. The group was quick to call the law enforcement who came there to collect it. This was fossil hunting to the extreme. And the discovery was only possible because the ravine had receded and even dried in some spots. Incredible discovery. I wish I could have had an incredible hiking trip as well, which eventually leads to the discovery of a 69 million year old fossil. This 12 year old boy from Calgary found the upper arm bone, or what we like to call the humerus, of a young duck billed dinosaur, or hadrosaur, while he was hiking through the mountains of Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. The discovery was reported in July of 2020, and when the excavation team arrived at the location, they were positively baffled by the presence of an upper bone and right next to it, part of the dino skull. They eventually excavated the remains of a young dinosaur. A really significant discovery in the field of paleontology, the remains are now on display in the Royal Taylors Museum after the preliminary study. Drowning Girl Statue the residents of Bilbao, Spain, were understandably horrified when they woke up to two huge eyes of a massive girl who seemed to be drowning in the Nervion River and was looking at them with a distressed expression. The baffling statue was placed overnight in the river and was an art installation by the Mexican artist Ruben Orozco Loza, titled Bihar, meaning tomorrow in Bosque. The statue has a deep meaning what we do can either save us or sink us, just like the girl. While the installation was meant to be a thoughtful piece, I don't blame the citizens for freaking out. Prehistoric Jawline Imagine coming across a gnarly lion that towers over six feet. Luckily, such a beast is extinct. But these remains found in the sandbar after the Mississippi River dried show how close we lived to these majestic creatures. The discovery was made by Wiley Pruitt, who pulled out a black saber-like tooth from the riverbed. Researchers estimate the tooth belongs to Panthera atrox, the extinct American lion that lived hundreds of thousands of years ago. The Mississippi River isn't the only place where signs of the lion were found. One set of fossils were found in the Cooper River, and another in a cave in Tennessee. Let's just be grateful these are fossils. Otherwise, who knows what would have happened had they still been alive. This picture was taken on July 20th, 2019, showing the discovery of two giant centuries-old statues of Nandi in Karnataka, India. N. L. Gowda is a local archaeologist who reported that the statues are from the post-Vijayanagar period between 16th and 17th centuries AD. In the 20th century, a local villager, Jaya Chamaraja Wadiyar, heard numerous stories in his time about a temple of Basaveshwara that had remained underwater along with idols of multiple gods and goddesses. Decades later, upon the river drying up, locals decided to excavate the area after seeing horns of the statue coming out from the area where the river dried up. After four days of digging with excavators, they finally uncovered these two legendary Nandi statues that are believed to be carved out of a single monolithic rock. Just as per their village's stories, they also found various other idols of the gods and goddesses, which now questions if a huge temple is actually buried somewhere under the earth. Nori Jantamachi this tomb from Pakistan serves as a reminder of an epic love story from 14th century AD. This is the final resting place of Nori Jamtamachi, the beloved wife of King Jamtamachi, a Samo ruler of Lower Sindh. Nori was a fisher girl and was immensely beautiful. On an expedition to the Indus River, the king fell madly in love with her and tied the knot. The family back home, however, disapproved of the marriage on the grounds of social disparity. The king defended his wife on all grounds and built a tomb for her burial after her natural death in Kinjhar Lake, Sindh, Pakistan. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.